I hear you talk about your team a lot. I mean, in our in our conversations about it, you, you talk about your staff and yeah. uh, employing seventy people is a big deal. I know in a in a small community, especially, it's a huge deal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how has the workforce evolved? I mean, is it is that is that tougher to get people? Have you have you been able to maintain your workforce? You know, what's that look like for you personally? And then you know, maybe what you hear. I know you're involved in the chamber and in the community. I mean, what are you yeah. hearing from other business owners? Yeah, it's a challenge, especially the last you know five, six, seven years, where you know Kentucky and even Tennessee, like we're right here on the border, that yeah. we we compete for the same workforce, and we have a deficit here in Kentucky that in our ten county region is is in the thousands of workers that we're that there's vacant jobs, yeah. and, and we need workers, but we've we've managed to keep a lot of our long term employees. Uh, we have a good team here in the office that. that procures the work and make sure the work gets done but more importantly we have a great team out doing doing the hard task every day yeah um, i loved getting to meet them you know you gave me an opportunity earlier to to go and say hello and i thanked them for showing up mm -hmm. and that might seem odd to folks but you know because kentucky has one of the worst workforce crisis in the nation it's a big deal to me when people yeah. are willing to uh, put the steel toes on and get to work uh, right. and and you know do the job that some aren't willing to do yeah that's absolutely right and every day you know they show up for whatever their personal reason is but it's to be commended that they're showing up because, to be honest, they probably don't have to. Yeah. Unfortunately, with the environment of, of of the government and and the and the handouts that are out yeah. there, but um, you know, there we have a great group here that doesn't necessarily want that. They want to. They want their own path and their own way forward. Well, yeah, there's something then, special about earning what you get and the dignity that that creates. I think that. Uh, is great for the individual, but also families. I'm going to go back uh, for a minute. You mentioned being a border town, and you've heard me talk about tax reform. Um, you know, I, I know it has to be a, a challenge. We get the benefit of the growth that's coming out of Nashville and Tennessee. Uh, you know, and, and obviously Bowling Green, Warren County are are doing well, but it has to be tough when you know just a few miles down the road, companies and, and employees don't have to pay income tax. Right, it's huge, and we're like I said, a border state. We're border county on Tennessee. And we aren't able to recruit people from Tennessee. Out of my workforce, I might have one or two employees of those 70 that are from Tennessee, yep. where the rest are spread around our 10 county region here around Simpson County. And so, if you know the income tax that we currently pay is gone, it will level that playing field, and I think will open for a, a county like ourselves. Um, a lot of employment opportunities for people that want other options. Right? Yeah, Tennessee, I, 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 I think so. And you asked me earlier too, it was a, it was a great question about then what, or also what, because I, I do talk a lot about tax reform and it was a challenging question, but a good one. And I, I shared uh, that we also have to do a better job of selling ourselves, being proud of who we are, not apologizing for what we're not. I think that we've lost that battle, that narrative uh, to Tennessee and Indiana and Ohio in a lot of ways. And we got to take that back uh, and reinstill that for generations to come. Absolutely.